What's going on YouTube? You got your favorite female trucker trucking with Kayla. So we got a new guest, Majesty. Let me see. Say I just turned one. Go get it. Okay. So uh no complaints already, but like you said, my pickup time was at 12:30 in the morning. So I had to go to Indiana. 12 30 in the morning i got loaded up i think at like two then it said that i was supposed to be arrived at the Cassini at 1 a.m how is that even possible and i still have to drive back so let me see so i just had not no complaints but you know just some confusion about that so i called my drive manager he haven't gave me a call back so now i'm at the Cassini. It's down there, but they told me to park like in a lot because they can't get me in until tomorrow, 1 a.m. So that's just be confusion with that. But besides that, I'm I'm not complaining. Like you said, I'm just an on-time person. Like, or less like messing up. Like, let me know what I need to do and how I need to do it. It's gonna get done. But besides that, it's a good day. It's beautiful out. Stop, Majesty, eating all that grass. That's why your stomach be hurting. But I'm just out here, so I will keep y'all updated. I do got bread, bread on my truck right now. So I'm about to drop this off. Then I will, you know, walk y'all through my steps on my next. All right, y'all, I almost forgot. Watch out, Majesty, back up. I almost forgot to start vlogging. But like I was telling y'all, I had to wait till one. I think it's 1230, so. I had to break the seal, opening up my doors now. Check on my other one, this trailer. This one a little broke. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's holding on for dear life. I'm about to back. It's a door 15, I mean 14. I like how they got the little cones right there. Help a sister out. Back up, baby. All right, let's see if I can do this. I know one of my, um, one of my, well, I don't know if she's a subscriber, but either or somebody comment telling me I need to learn how to do a 45 and I agree with that because it's like I'm always doing, doing the most.
there. Oh. Boom. And like you said, just make it a straight back. I feel like my back end is pretty decent. Sometimes it's like a hit or miss. That's what I like about trucking. Cause it's like one minute I'm confident like, oh, I got this, I got this crap. The next minute I'm humbled like, yeah, never mind. So. All right, so I hit the dock. So now I'm just by the wait until I get unloaded, take myself on yard moves. Well, I, I already been on duty. So, I me mean, already been in the sleeper berth and I, I've been arrived at the consignee at like, as I showed y'all, it was like daytime. So, now we just wait. Then like you said, I'm so behind. My next load is supposed to be at, at 12. So now, in Columbus, but the thing about Abbott, it's always a dropping hook. So hopefully the load already just waiting for me. All right, y'all. So I got my paperwork. I'm about to pull up, close my doors. Look at my I told you I was coming back. Next load at Abbott. Every time I go to Abbott, it's normally a, uh, um, all right. So like I said, I'm heading to Abbott. I'm about to pull up, close my doors. Oh, I ain't gotta put myself in drive yet. I'm gonna try not to set off my drive because I just need to close my doors, that's it. There should be enough room. Watch out, much. So it's like three o'clock in the morning. That's the only thing about refrigerated. Like, I do not like, I am a morning person. And like I don't mind it because I actually love the night driving not even joking I would rather drive at night all day every day like night driving is so peaceful but like you said it's 3 o'clock in the morning like I said I'm a morning person so I literally just wake up like yesterday when I did this low, I got done driving at 2.30 and woke up at eight. Like my time didn't even reset because I started driving. Luckily I only had to drive an hour, but I literally set the whole day. So it did re restart itself. But but yeah, that's the, that's the only thing. Like I just can't sleep in late, but I'm loaded up. I'm about to head to, head to Abbott. Like I was saying before, it's Normie always. I drop this empty. Then get my loaded trailer. So fingers crossed that the trailer is already loaded and I ain't gotta do no waiting. And I think this load is going to Missouri, so stay tuned. I just checked in like you said I'm at Abbott I like Abbott because they they back in is so small like that's literally one of my not one of my fears but literally one of my fears I hope I always just have to drop then just hook up so I'm 
about the back. Back it right now. I'll find somewhere to back it. Like you said, make my job easier. Let me see if there's some openings. Got my paperwork, so I'm carrying soy milk. About to go connect to the trailer. All right, so I'm looking for trailer R51935. It's basically right here, so about the back, about the back into this and connect to this. Then we on our way to Missouri.
take your majesty for a quick little walk. I made it. Like you said, it's six in the morning. Like my schedule is all the way thrown off. It's morning time. So hopefully I can get me some good sleep. I always feel safe at a loves. I still tell myself no matter what. And it ain't it ain't that much safety. Well, of course there's that much safety in the world, but it ain't that much safety in the world, but like you said, even that loves, I still make sure my door is locked. I put, you know, the little latch. Everybody know at the end of the day. And now that I got a dog, for those who got a dog, you know, they they top flight security. She gonna bark at everything, but yeah. Like you said, safety is my number one priority out here. And I ain't talking about safety in the truck. Of course, that's number one. But if I'm not safe, then the truck won't be safe. So my safety is always first. So all I'm doing is shutting down, y'all. And I only drove like two hours. So I still have four hours until I get to Missouri. So I would definitely keep y'all updated. Stay tuned. All right, good morning. Like I said, I'm trying to walk out through my day, so I ain't even brush, I ain't even stretch yet. I'm trying to make sure I get my YouTube people together. So it's 11.35. I tried to sleep in. I tried and didn't stop driving till like six. So I tried to sleep in as, as much as I can, but I still woke up. So like I said, as you can see, all the early birds got their day started. You see how this yard, I'm just about to um, let majesty out and lay down to two because my eight, I didn't even take an eight hour break yet. I think it only been five hours, so. trash out each night I ain't took it out in the last two days so I got my trash these are my dishes and these are majesty bowl and her own spoon because she got a she gets soft food and wet food so I just like to you know mix it up for her good so we about to go inside well not we I'm about to go inside <clears throat> do my hygiene wash my dishes they I hopefully fingers crossed that they got this bowl I always see it as rubber and it's used for other stuff, but it looked like I could like wash my dishes on Saturday and so I have to wash them in the bathroom. But I mean, either way, it don't matter. I'm gonna make sure, you know, I wash my dishes each and every night because I ain't got that many. So I'm about to go inside and do my hygiene. All right, so I got my hygiene bag. I got Majesty got her own bag for her dishes. I got my own bag for my dishes just to carry them in. Then I'm about to take my trash out. Excuse me, Majesty. So I'm just about to pull up. I came back to my uh, my truck, but it was like so far and I'm like all these empty spots. So I'm just about to pull up so I can get closer. So I could, you know, see or hear if anything going on.
of my hygiene done. Now you just clean up after yourself. Something some people tend to forget. Let's go. This is the bowl I'm talking about. I feel like I could wash my dishes in. It's eight bucks. I'm gonna definitely give it a try. So everybody know that's why I love it's pretty good. It was 10 bucks, but I used my points. So it was actually only 47 cents. Late last night, I forgot to get DEFs, so. I've been sitting at this truck stop all since 6.30 and now that I wanna go and come, it's packed. So I'm just waiting to get some DEF, then I'm gonna hit the road. I got four hours. I think I'm figuring out I got four hours, but that's cause it didn't reset yet or whatever. So I'm gonna drive those four hours and it should reset about like, and it should reset in like four hours, I guess. Let me see. Cause we get what? 11 yeah i'm going off of this 14 hour clock so if i'm correct if not y'all comment below and let me know if i'm correct i think that's when it'll start over because we get our 14 hours so but the place is five hours and two minutes so i'm gonna drive for probably like three hours then pull over until you know my time just reset all right so i'm about to get my DEF. This come in handy, literally. Remember to take my picture, look at my fuel. Ain't nothing wrong with setting up reminders. 